It is 2023 and I am going to start a new series on my channel. I am on a new account and I am going to start out as a level one in GTA Online. But this isn't going to be any normal starting out as a level one going from racks to riches. I'm going to spin a wheel and the wheel will determine how I can make money for that video. But today in this video, we're just going to do all the introductions as a level one in GTA Online. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. All right. So as you can see right here, I am on the main menu screen so i don't know let's just start it up oh here we go look at all these businesses that they're displaying right now hopefully on this account i will be able to get all of these businesses but it's just depending on how i'm gonna get money do i wish to sign in to social club no oh, good lord i'm probably gonna have to make a new social club i guess i'm gonna have to good lord i'm gonna have to make a new one hold on <laughs> is that a created account okay i think we created an account what is this the bomb Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. So this is the new thing. We get $4 million to start out with. Congratulations, you've been awarded $4 million to kickstart your first criminal career in GTA Online. Thank you, thank you. So I don't know exactly what is the best, but I mean, obviously, I am a GTA Online YouTuber, so I should know kind of what's the best in general. Now, hmm, I hate starting up like an MC business in general, but like that's probably like the best like businesses of the nightclub owner see michael owner's not as good without the all the other businesses gun runner um, it takes a little bit to do an executive takes a little bit to do i don't know i think the best two are gun runner and biker in my opinion i think biker is probably the best one i guess we'll do biker oh good i have clubhouses i can choose from okay okay see okay i don't think i need a custom bike workshop in my opinion for this for this account i mean maybe we'll maybe we'll work to get it one day but right now i don't think so oh my god you can get the polito bay one with the upgrade and you can get the great chop roll one plus the upgrade for only like five hundred thousand. i mean yeah i think i want everything in the city though that's the thing i i think i mean i have the vespucci one on my main account so i feel like you know i'll just do that i'm very used to it we'll do the vespucci one okay so it leaves us at three million six hundred thousand okay now a coca-cola lock a coca-cola you know yeah okay so I want everything to be worked in the city. Probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do the 2.2 million one. <laughs> I only have 1.3 million. So I guess I'm going to get a better vehicle then. I guess it's... You know what? No, 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 no. Well, can I just get a lot of weapons? You know what? Fine. I'll just get all the weapons because, you know, why not? Okay, I got all the weapons. And um, is there anything just a tad bit more money? Oh, a nitro. Wait a minute. A nitro? That's so perfect. That is so perfect for a starter. How much money is that? Hold on. Oh, my God. I need to get rid of some of my weapons. Okay. Dude, why is the grenade... Oh, wait. It's the grenade... Oh, wait. That's actually good. I actually need the grenade launcher. I don't know. It's about to go off. Like, come on, do I need a pull cue? No, I probably don't need a pull cue. I don't think I need a mini SMG. How much money do I have? I mean, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm really trying to figure out how much money I need. Oh my god, I need to get rid of like one of those things. It's like 15k. Good lord. All right, what weapon that's like 15k can I get rid of? You know, fine. You know, fine. That's fine. The the sweeper is go. Really? I am like I'm 200 off. That's so annoying. I'm 200 dollars off. Fine, pipe bomb, pipe bomb. You know what? Yeah. Why do I need a pipe bomb? All right, so we're getting the night shark. We are getting the night shark. This is this is gonna be good. It's actually really good. Okay, am I good to go? Yes. Start the career. Let's go. We got it. We got it. We got everything down. All right. So what do we got? The best Bucci clubhouse. We got the Coca-Cola lockup with the upgrades, so we can get as much money as possible. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at me. All right. So this is our guy. This is our guy. Um, it really doesn't resemble anyone that I know of. Okay. go take a picture there we go all right so we're getting out the police station and here we are dude this feels so weird what why does this feel so choppy wait a minute did they automatically put on the new fidelity mode hold on hold on hold on hold on how do i change that yeah they put it on the new fidelity mode no i don't care put it on performance <laughs> that's hilarious actually oh yeah so much better um i got a message from my mechanic hey bud I've been gifted a vehicle. I've been gifted a penumbra. 
Okay. All right. I mean, I guess that's good. I don't know. I have a night shark. I mean, that's definitely going to be like my main vehicle to start out. Hey, it's your boy LD. Good to see you're back on the streets. Wait, so we knew Lamar beforehand? I didn't know that. Uh, me and Lamar go way back. All right, so we got to go to Davis. All right, that's fine. Let's go to Davis. This is what's going to happen in Davis. All right, so here we are in Davis. Um, we have to... This is going to get ugly. Uh, let's go for fun. Wait, what? That's it? Oh man. Oh, wait, why? Wait, why are you shooting at me? I ran like right in front of you. You didn't even recognize, you idiots. Okay. Well, give me my special carbine and you can die. You can die. That guy just died. Um, now what? Oh, now I gotta leave the area. Okay, fine. Sure thing. Sure thing, Lamar. Oh my god. Dude, our penumbra is screwed up. Dude, this is a free vehicle that we got. And we have torn this vehicle up. And Malk just messaged us. Okay, so he's just saying basically, yo, it's me. Um, you're the guy that I'm working with. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we gotta go to a clubhouse. Like, we're gonna, now we gotta meet Malk. I am at my clubhouse. Hello, everyone. I'll be in touch if you're taking any of that club business. Otherwise, enjoy the place. Thank you, Malk. Oh, okay. I got more things I gotta do, I guess. I wanna drive my night shark my beautiful night shark that i just bought you know what screw it yeah you're done all right now give me my night shark dude they're forcing me to drive to the penumbra that's crazy all right so we've made it to the coca-cola lockup so let's, let's just go into our coca-cola lockup okay yeah this is where we can you know manufacture our coca-cola Lovely. Yeah, I'm not gonna start the- Oh, wait, I actually have to, like, start this up. Crap, man. I think I'll just do that now, too. Why not? All right, so now we need to set up the Coca-Cola. So, there we go. Let's just go set it up. Can I please- No, they're gonna force me to do it in the penumbra still. And I have a beautiful night shark that I just bought. Dude, I'm gonna tear this car up. I don't like this car anymore. Especially when I bought a night shark and they're not allowing me to use my night shark. All right, here we go. We made it to La Mesa. Oh, there's a new vehicle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have to ride around this penumbra anymore. Thank you. All right. Then we just have to deliver it back to the business. All right. There we go. We delivered the vehicle to the business. And there we go. Our Coca-Cola will be ready to be made. All right. There we go. And wow. I'm a level two. Oh, I'm a level three. Oh my gosh. Four. Wow. I'm a level five. Let's go. Level five. Wait, don't I have like all like the good upgrades? Hold on. I should, right? All I got was a staff upgrade. I don't even have the equipment upgrade. No, I don't think that was that worth it, to be honest. All right, yeah, bring me my night shark, please. I just want to look at it. I really just want to see my beautiful night shark. Oh, there it is. All dark and dark. Good Lord, it is a very dark vehicle. I'm recording this the 21st of December. It's not actually 2023 yet. Oops. So today is the last day, though, that the new the Drug Wars DLC missions are going to be double money and RP. So I'm actually going to take this opportunity to do that now to make a little bit of money. Oh, sweet. I've been gifted a 10 car apartment too. And then, yeah, that's where my penumbra is. Okay, so I can literally start heist from the get go. That's good. That's good. We could potentially do heist. Yeah, so we have a lot of options, I think, as a low level to make some money. We have a, or we have a decent amount, not a lot, but we have a decent amount of options. All right, so I made it to where Ron wanted me to meet. All right, so now we are going to do the first dose missions, which are double money and RP. I need, I do need to get ammo. So yeah, wow. <laughs> Usually I don't have to think about buying ammo. Buying ammo takes up over half of my bank account. I'm probably not going to show too much of these missions as I've already done it on the channel before, but I don't know. We're just going to see how this goes. Uh, it's unfortunate I can't skip it though, so I'm going to have to watch it over again. All right, there we go. We've passed the first first dose mission. Get like 30k from it. I mean, the money's whatever for this, but we're looking more for just unlocking the ability to purchase the freak shop at this point while making a little bit of change here and there. I also forgot we actually get 50k from that too, just for doing it. So that's actually huge. So now, so now we have like 80k. Okay. All right, there you go. The second first dose mission has been passed to get. Oh man, I only get twenty one thousand for that one. The first one I got like thirty thousand, but whatever. I, we still get that fifty k bonus. 
Alright, so it's been a few days, and now there's snow on the ground in GTA Online. And Rockstar gifted me a lot of different things for free, which is kind of amazing. I really didn't pay too much attention to this on my main account. But on this account, this is huge. Like, I got a candy cane to use. That's good. I got full proximity mines. I didn't even have proximity mine before, so that's huge. Molotov cocktails. I have grenades and sticky bombs. And I have a firework launcher. Yeah, this firework launcher probably not going to be useful but it's kind of cool that i have on this stupid account i still need to finish the first of this mission so let me go do that all right so i made it back to the freak shop i mean it's a new week so the first dose missions you're not double money in rp i should still get the fifty thousand bonus for doing it so that is what i'm going for right now all right there we go this mission took me two days to complete on this low level account but anyways we finally got it done uh let's move on to the next one all right there we go we survived the trip we got ten thousand dollars for that that one that's obviously a lot easier we have two more missions to go holy crap i got the gooch on here get up get up get up get up we're getting the gooch holy crap i was not expecting the gooch at all i literally just spawned in okay well here's the gooch i guess um he dropped the present i got twenty six thousand for that and the gooch mask on i might actually wear that hold on i was i literally just spawned in and that happened too that's crazy that's so crazy all right there we go there's the gooch mask yeah I i'll wear it i'll wear it all right there we go mission pass oh, we have one more mission to go Yo. All right, so I'm at ammunition right now. I'm about to make my first like kind of big purchase, I guess. Wait, are you kidding me? I can't get the normal rifle until I'm level 21. I'm like level 13 right now just from doing these missions. But anyways, that's stupid. I guess I'll get the heavy sniper. Okay, I just want a sniper in hand. That's all I want. I need something to put a suppressor on. I, that's what I, I mean. I guess I can put it on my fine. I'll put it on my pistol. Fine, whatever. Pistol. There we go. There we go. There's a suppressor because we're about to do the final first dose mission and there's the option to do it stealthily and I'm going to take that option because it's going to be a lot easier all right there we go mission passed on all of the first dose missions all right so i just retrieved the lab equipment so i have the potential to start up the acid lab so later on in this series i could actually one day upgrade this brigade six by six into the acid lab so we can make some money out of it before we end up this video i'm gonna go back to the weapon shop i'm gonna get a weapon and i'm gonna look at some upgrades for my night shark and after that i'm gonna show y'all how much money i have in my bank account all right so i'm at ammunition um what i wanted to get which i didn't even know this was discounted but anyways i want to get the homing launcher and i bought rockets for it too that's all i want from the weapon shop I just feel like I have a grenade launcher, which that's nice, but I need I need something that has the potential to lock on like a helicopter. All right, so now I am at La Santa's Customs. Did I put like armor plating on here? Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is what I wanted. This is literally what I wanted. I'm surprised it's only $1,100. It's the only thing that's not default that I can actually get is the primary window plate. So that's going to provide even more armor for me. That, so that's huge. Oh, I can't shoot. <laughs> I need to be level 19 to get door plates. That is silly. And I'm going to make it matte black. That is probably so stupid that I did that. But anyways. And then I also want to put want to put off-roading wheels on it. And yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. So now this thing is a little bit more armored. I was kind of expecting to do some of these missions. And kind of just get away with this vehicle being stock as a good armored vehicle. But it really wasn't that great. Alright, so I've been thinking about it. And for this series... Series, I'm gonna call it loser to luxury because let's just face it. I started out as a level one at the beginning of this video I might be what a level 14 now, but that's still terrible. All right now I am a loser in GTA Rockstar gave me the poverty pack at the beginning and I got it I got some stuff, but you know, that was all kind of free So how this series is gonna work from here on out is that I am going to spin a wheel to determine What I am going to buy next? I'm gonna alternate between practical stuff like like other money making methods, maybe like maybe like setting up the acid lab, buying an arcade so we could do the casino heist, buying a casaca to do the Kaya Perico. And then we're gonna spin another wheel to buy something that's not gonna have really any practicality at all. And I don't know, maybe that'd be like maybe like a penthouse. 
house or a yacht or or maybe like a house special works vehicle something that really doesn't have a whole lot of practicality we're going to kind of alternate back and forth between those two and we're going to work our way each episode to make money to buy whatever the wheel lands on for and for each episode i am going to spin a wheel to then determine how i'm going to make money for that episode so i'm going to have a wheel that's going to have all the ways i can make money right now in gta online and i'm going to spin that wheel and let's just say it lands on the coca-cola lockup well then for that episode we're going to max out our coca-cola lockup and then we are going to sell off that coca-cola lockup and at the end of the video we'll see how much money we have and see if we can make that purchase but after episode one i actually have a decent amount of money i have like just over five hundred thousand dollars so yeah i'm pretty satisfied right now we're gonna see what we're gonna work towards in buying in next video make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see the top five hardest missions to do in gta online